we're, we're big foodies and we love food. So um, my wife is, is the uh, front desk manager at the Woodstock Inn. So she's a hospitality person. And we, we found, we've discovered Ludlow again. And Ludlow has four of the top restaurants in the entire state. Whereas before from Woodstock, it was just a little too far to go. We go to Chester all the time. But it gets me, does get me to that thing. And you asked, what would I like to see in Reading? And I would love to see a cafe as well. I would actually love to see, um, you know, you've got, we, we do have Keeper's Bistro, right? Keeper's Cafe right at the end of the road, which is awesome. But I would love to see a, you know, like a breakfast or lunch cafe that's, that's got like, you know, some, some vegetarian offerings and, and whole foods. Because one of the, the other thing that really attracts me to Reading is the biking. The, the cycling here is unsurpassed, we, and I do a lot of dirt road biking, so we've got incredible dirt roads. We have a road department that keeps our roads in top condition all the time, and we have wonderful Class 4 roads, which are these unmaintained roads, and, and a whole network of them that goes over into Plymouth and South Woodstock and down into Cavendish, and those are wonderful for mountain biking. And, and then we have, of course, we have Mount Escutney, which is right down the road, which has, it's one of the top single track mountain biking networks in the entire state. In fact, they just hosted a big mountain bike race yesterday in the torrential rain, and the, and the trails were in such good shape that they maintained perfectly. A lot, of, a lot of other trail networks have closed their trails because of all the rain, and they didn't have to do that. So, I mean, this is just biking central. We had a wonderful gravel bike bicycle event from Escutney last Sunday called the Dirty Rota Coaster. So, I mean, for dirt roads. So, um, it's, just, it's just a great thing, you know, and, that, and that's one of the big things that attracts me here. But that would go hand in hand with a cafe. You know, to be able to have a place where you can go in your bicycle and just hang out and drink espresso and, you know, but somebody, somebody I'm sure will come along. We, we do have a great property in town. I, I intend to do a, public, uh, a press release about all this, and so this will come out. It would be awesome. Say it's going to be cheap stuff and people want yeah. to pay, and who knows, somebody will come and do it. Somebody may come and do it. I know, I, you know, uh, the, the 1815 house is for sale, and it's, gonna, it's a great deal right now, and they are commercially zoned. And they have Act 250 permitting in place and for a cafe. So that would be a perfect place. Plus they have, you know, room for, it's not permitted for this yet, but they have room for camping out back for people who want to come for the biking. Um, it would just be just an awesome thing. So I think it's really coming along. In Barnard, in Barnard they bought a foundation, um, actually bought the store building, and then they rent out the, the real estate. It was just too expensive for, it really is very, very expensive for, um, a person who owns the business to also own the real estate and try to keep up with the maintenance and things like that. Well, Trobus does a wonderful job with it, but it's these small country stores and cafes have a very difficult time. But if you can get ahead of it by having a foundation on the property, it'd be great.